streets safe, we had to get just as dirty as those animals. Wait. What's up with glass niggas? This your boy Jay Miles and I am back with another video. And you know what to do. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking, but most importantly, make sure you share it with your glad friends. On today's video, we will be covering Power Book 2 Ghosts, and this one right here is titled Tariq's Secret Plan to Protect Diana from Carter's Wrath. Now, pretty much what prompted this video, this is another one um, pretty much was um, put out there by DeMarcus Vaughn that basically um, was indicating that it's possible Tariq um, hid Diana away, um, you know, similar to how Tommy did with Lakeisha Grant in season three once Milan was a threat. So, without further ado, let me just go ahead and get into this video. Now, uh, what I have here is episode seven's description so we can get a better understanding of what is the reasoning for Tariq having to do this. Now, it reads, when tragedy strikes, Tariq and the Tahatas are set on a mission to avenge what they've lost. Jew must take out a threat to Carter's organization in order to protect his family. Now, the only part that's really irrelevant, I mean, that's really relevant to this particular uh, video is that top part when the tragedy strikes. Now, I already did a video, you know, that stated that Diana may, you know, possibly lose her child because of a fight with Felicia Lewis. Now, whether or not that part is true is um, not really important now, but the, the part, I mean, let's just go with actually that that part isn't true. Let's say the baby is fine, right? Um, but the thing is, is that it's uh, one thing we do know is that they're saying that it's a tragedy that scrub. Let's go with that the tragedy is the death of Diana, right? But um, what I'm here to tell you is that they're going to make it, us believe that Diana was taken out and I'll show you how so next we have to go back to you know the past to go ahead and tell you you know so that I can kind of fill in the dots to let y'all know exactly how and why this has to take place so at the end of episode five when you know they went for the ultrasound pretty much Tariq was trying to pitch to Diana that you know, he has to be on top because, you know, his father had one foot in, one foot out. And that's the only reason why it didn't work for him. But for him, he said he has to be all in and be at the top so that he can protect both Diana and the child. But, of course, Diana shot it down. Was like, that doesn't work for me. I don't want anyone that's in the game around my child. So pretty much, she wasn't going for that, right? Now... Next, we are, but we, as you can see here, it seems as if Diana is still getting into a lot of trouble and she's being dragged in deeper and deeper into the game, which is the opposite of what she wanted for her and her child, right? And I believe with all of this going on, that Carter is going to become a major threat to all of them, really. But you know, Tariq's priority is going to be to protect his child. So, I think he's going to first be thinking of it in a way, another way, you know, that, you know, still trying to find a way to be in the game, just take Carter out. But, after a talk with his mother, Tasha, I think he's going to start to think things a little differently. Because we heard her say in the trailer that, you know, this baby is hope. So, I think she's pretty much giving him a prep talk saying look damn the game you need to be thinking about a way to get diana and that child to safety because you're already you know getting into dangerous territories 
And keep in mind, um, in season one, when Steens first started popping off, between, you know, when Kanan was doing the hits and stuff like that, he talked about, Ghost talked to Tommy about um, going into hiding, and he said, we can't be going into hiding again, indicating that that means there was a point of time where Ghost and Tommy was at war, and they had to hide their families, you know what I'm saying? Or hide the people that they cared about longer. He said they were young, mobile. He said he got way too much stuff going on now to go into hiding. So, with that being said, I think it might be possible that Tasha will kind of, you know, let Tariq know how his dad did it back in the day to protect them. So, Tariq is going to be doing the same. Next, we got where Tariq is having the meeting with Noma Noma and Kane that was set up by you know, Davis. And I believe this meeting was probably set up because he's probably going to try to have a conversation with Zion. Because keep in mind here, he said his um, terms with Zion didn't match what it, whatever it is he, he wanted. So, he, you know, he'd see it being more desirable to work with Noma. That's what... You know, it, it obviously, you know, I'm paraphrasing. That's not exactly what he said, but it was something in that realm, right? And I believe, so that just makes me think that he probably tried to, you know, come to terms with Zion, but he didn't want to, you know, honor any of them that he was bringing to him. Therefore, he stays to plan with, now with um, Noma and taking out his first major threat, which is Noma and, I mean, which is Zion. And then he's going to also deal with Carter and Noma as well. But, you know, he's being smart about all of it. So, with that being said, though, I think with the knowledge that he probably is going to consume from his mother, Tasha, he will go the same route that Tommy went with DMAC. So, I believe that it is possible that the tragedy that they're speaking of could still be indeed Diana, but it's not going to be what we think it is. You know, they may like um, on on Force. They they even though I wasn't fooled because I I mean I just knew, but you know they probably fooled a lot of viewers to make us think that you know Tommy took out D Mac. But of course you know they didn't show a body, which more than likely here in Force they're not going to show. I mean in Ghost they're not going to show a body as well. And if they do, they're not going to really show her dead body. You know, they may show her getting uh, getting hit or something like that. And then Tariq comes up with the idea to, okay, let me just hide her away and make everybody else believe that she died. Kind of like we've seen this actually a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? Like we've we seen it with Lobos. We've seen, um, let me see. Who else did we see that um, they made it look like they died, but, you know, they actually survived? Well, you know, it just it's just been a couple of times. Like, we've seen it with Lauren. Like, you know, they, they made us think that she was killed. They made us think that, you know, oh, I mean, I gave y'all enough examples. But in, either way, you know what I'm saying? I think that might be the route that they go with this Diana thing. They make us think that she was taken out, and then, you know, they're probably going to stop showing her for... A few episodes, probably all the way into episode 10, they're not going to show her. And then at the end, they're going to find, we're going to find out that indeed she was alive this entire time. And, um, you know, he's going to go back to meet her and maybe they start a new spinoff. But I think another major cliffhanger will happen that something bad will happen to Tariq. But that's not, this isn't that particular video. So, pretty much that's all I got for y'all as far as this particular video. Um, I, like I said, I just think that something will happen that they may, that will cause um, Tariq to have to make it seem like Diana was maybe taken out or just maybe they just show us that he decides to put her away. But I seriously doubt that. But you know, either way, 
it may be possible that Diana goes missing. She goes ghost for a good little while, and then they reveal to us at the end that she is still alive. Alive and well. Maybe even they show her having the baby at the very end. Maybe. Something like that, you know what I'm saying? But um, definitely let me know what y'all think it up in these comments. You know, like usual, if you're cool with me, fool with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share with your glad friends. But until the next video, I'm out.